Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we'll learn about the Jupyter Notebook shortcut with escape button. So, escape button when we use it is the when we go into the command mode. And what is the command mode in Jupyter? Well, in the command mode, we can edit the notebook and but we will not touch the codes inside the cells. And the keyboard, uh, we know that in most of the programming, a keyboard is mapped to a set of shortcuts that let us perform notebooks and cell actions efficiently. And after this, before touching on the hands-on, like I just want to also uh, let you know the, one of the very important question about how do we enter the command mode in the Jupyter Notebook? Well, to enter the command mode, we need to press escape or click anywhere outside the cell. So suppose this is my this is my uh, Jupyter Notebook. I want to enter the command mode. I have to simply press escape. You can see here, right? This is a gray line and this is a blue strip, blue line, right? So this is we have entered into the command mode. Again, we'll go into the code mode and what we'll do, I will just press here, okay? The moment I press here, either either you press escape button or you press here, it will this line will become uh, gray and this will become blue and we are in the command mode. So when we, and the most important thing about the command mode is that when we are in the command mode, we can edit our notebook, but we can't type in the cell. So starting with the command mode uh, shortcuts, the very first thing is we need to insert a, like how do we add a cell above the existing cell and below the existing cell, okay? So this is my uh, existing code. I want to add one cell above this print statement. So what I'll do, I'll say uh, escape plus A. So this cell is added and then I want to again add one code after this, so escape plus B. So you can, one uh, cell is added above this using escape plus a and one is added below this using escape plus b. After this, I want to delete the existing cell and followed by like undo the last cell deletion. Okay. So for deleting, we'll use escape plus d plus d and for undo, we'll use escape plus z. So suppose I want to delete this cell. Okay. So we'll press escape plus d twice. You have to press. Okay. Now again, if you want to retrieve the deleted cell, what you need to do is escape plus z. So this is being und undo is operation is being performed. I'll perform the uh, this escape. Okay. So if I do control S, you can see here, right? Checkpoint created at this point and it is being saved. Uh, after this, what we will do, we'll go to the uh, we will go to the raw uh, like mode. So escape plus R, escape plus R. You can see here it is being converted into the raw mode. Okay. And this is basically why we use. Uh, I will also show you if you press escape plus. Uh, why it will go to the code mode escape plus R it will go to the raw mode and if you press escape plus M It will go to the markdown mode. So what is markdown? What is what is this raw mode? This actually will take a entire session to cover it But I'm just giving you a glimpse with the shortcut. I will be coming up with a uh, detailed uh, Topic on this. What is escape plus R? Escape plus R will change my cell to the raw and and what is the raw cell in Jupyter notebook? Well, the raw NB convert cell type can be used to render different format into HTML, okay, or the latex or by sync. This information is stored in the notebook metadata and converted appropriately. And again, after this, we have something like uh, we need to go to the markdown. And what is the markdown in Jupyter? You, we go to a markdown mode by using escape plus M. And markdown is a lightweight and popular markup language, which is is a writing and standard for data scientists and analysts and it is often converted into the corresponding html which by the markup processor which allow it to easily share between different devices and people okay so this is basically for you can see here okay uh, this is for the heading if i give escape plus one okay and if i execute this so you can see this is nothing but for uh, but for my documentation purpose I, I double click it again and if i give escape plus two plus three plus okay if i press here escape plus three escape plus four escape plus five escape plus six then it all depends on what i am trying it's all depends upon my documentation these features are for documentation so if you want to use this you have to simply like give as per your requirements so this is i have already covered this uh, uh, heading uh, escape plus one two three four five six after this uh, we need to use the up arrow or down arrow or the escape plus K is for the same above like use the above cell and down arrow and J is for using the below cell like okay we are here okay now I want to go to this cell if there are multiple suppose we have this code okay 
Now, if you use the up arrow, it will go here only, right? Now, but if you use escape plus up, escape plus up arrow, it will go this shift from one this uh, cell to this cell. If you sh uh, press escape plus down, it will go here. Now, again, if you press escape plus uh, up arrow, or if you press escape plus K, it will go up. And if you play, press K plus down or K plus J, it will go down. I mean K plus down arrow or you use K plus J, it will go down. So it will go up and down based on the uh, like uh, the option K plus J and K plus K. After this, cut and paste. Okay. Suppose I have this cell here. Okay. Control K X and then I will paste it here. K V. It has pasted right this code is being pasted here toggle line numbers this is my code i want to toggle line number i i am not uh, like fine with i just want to see how many lines of code i am writing so i will simply say escape plus l you can see here right and again if you press escape plus l this line number will be gone okay what i will do here we have toggle the output so suppose i have this for loop for i in range of 100 and then i'll say print if I execute this, so many line of code will be there. I have to go down again and again. Now, if I want to minimize this, I will say escape plus O. I'll click here, escape plus O. This is being toggled. The output is being minimized. Okay. Now, after this, if you want to open the keyboard shortcut, you press escape plus H. All the keyboard shortcut is present. I have shown you, right? Cell to heading one, two, three, four, five, all the options. Select cell above, select uh, down. All the options is being provided here then we move to open the command palette escape plus p escape plus p it will give you all the command whatever we are using here okay in the command mode then escape plus zero plus zero will restart the kernel it will ask you an option throw you an option suppose this is my kernel if i gave escape plus zero plus zero Right, it will ask you right whether you want to continue running or restart after this interrupt the kernel okay what does it mean suppose I have this while loop and I will execute this. Okay. Now this is a infinite loop and it is going on and on and it is not stopping. Okay. I don't know how to stop. So you have to press escape plus I plus I and then it is interrupting the kernel, right? And then you toggle it, you minimize it. So escape plus O. After this, you need to find and replace. There are times when do when we want to change our code or we want to change the name of our variables. Okay. So in this case, I will what I will do, I'll just copy here okay i will just copy this here escape c escape v and then escape v now i want to i will say escape plus h no not escape plus f sorry escape plus f escape plus f if i say hi so only the selected cell will change v i don't want to like that then i'll have to control a and then escape plus f now i'll change the name e s t is the fun to Ali. okay and replace it so you can see here everything is being replaced right and that's it for this session i tried my best to give in a shortest possible way uh, all the all the different uh, shortcuts of the command uh, mode basically using the escape button so thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And also please refer my videos to, videos to your friend. Okay. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.